Welcome everybody here to Reeser Stadium uh, to introduce Scott as our new head coach, an exciting era at Oregon State women's basketball. At this time, I'd like to ask everybody to turn their cell phones off or make sure they're on vibrate so they don't ring during the press conference. On another note, we're going to only going to be taking questions from the media during the session. Any fans uh, who are in the crowd today, we will be having a meet and greet with Scott at 6 o'clock in the loge level, so we'd love to have you come out and uh, meet him and talk more one-on-one. -on -one. So with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Athletic Director Bob DeCarolis, who will say a little bit about uh, today's press conference. Thanks, Hank. And welcome. It's a great day to be a beaver. And uh, I see all the uh, athletic people standing in the back. Now, with Dr. K, we talked about being in the front row, right? Not, not in the back of the classroom, so move in a little bit. But uh, before we introduce Scott, I want to thank a couple people. Number one, our president, Ed Ray, for his great support for athletics down here in the second row, Ed. I'd like to uh, announce the, uh, the members of the uh, search team that do a, did, did, did a great job of the process and keeping it on track. And some of them are here right now. Our head basketball coach on the men's side, Craig Robinson. Craig? Uh, Leslie Burns, who is the uh, current uh, faculty center president. Leslie's over here. And uh, former president of the rebounders last year. Uh, Marilyn Stewart, is she here? Academic advisor in EOP? I don't think so. OK. She's on her way. Okay, we'll add her into the equation here. Um, Alicia Ortega, the Associate Director of Admissions. Uh, Joe Spadafore, our new faculty athletic rep, just came on July 1, actually officially today, but he's been in transition. We've been working him hard. Uh, Susie Brubaker Cole, who's our Associate Provost for Academic Success and Engagement. Susie. Uh, Todd Stansby, our Executive Associate Athletic Director. Todd, where are you? Give me a shout out over here. Also like to thank uh, all of our staff this past weekend. We had a number of candidates in trying to juggle them all at the same time. So thank you for giving up uh, your free time on the weekend to do that. Uh, it's very much appreciated. And a, a big round of applause for the person that kind of headed up this whole committee, did a great job of keeping it on track, uh, trying to expedite the process. Our goal was to have somebody by July 1. We met that goal. So Marianne Vigia, where's Marianne? No. Marianne, stand up. Scott Ruick, 14 years a head coach at uh, George Fox, 288 and 88, that's 75% winning percentage, seven conference titles, six NCAA berths, five Sweet 16s, three Elite Eights, one NCAA championship. Been National Coach of the Year once, Western Coach of the Year three times, Conference Coach of the Year seven times. I think what's real impressive, impressive with the record is that in the last three years, he's 85 and eight for a 91% winning percentage. That's pretty good stuff. But really what's really important to me is a couple of things, the intangibles. Number one, he's an Oregonian. He got native Oregonian, he gets it. He understands about respecting the forest. <laughs> and he knows not to mess with the salmon. He gets it. He's part of the family. He's a beaver, and he gets that too. He knows that we relish being the underdog, but that we're going to outwork you, and that's how we're going to beat you. And that's what he's proven over, over the years. He's well respected in the Northwest. He's built up some tremendous relationships, which I think is really going to speak well for our program going forward. And at the end of the day, he's just a perfect fit. So without further ado, let me introduce the new head women's basketball coach at Oregon State, Scott Ruick.